Life in prison for the Loudoun County man who admits he attacked a man with a hammer paralyzing him. Only on News 4, our Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder talks with the victim about that life-changing assault. Leaving the Loudoun County Courthouse, Brian Pedroza finally has closure to the horrific attack that bound him to this wheelchair for the rest of his life. Well, I literally made every aspect of my life more difficult. His attacker, Bradford Salucci, is sentenced to life in prison for attacking Pedroza while he was working inside of this store at the Leesburg Outlets. Surveillance video shows Salucci walking around the store for nearly 20 minutes back in July of 2015. Pedroza asks Salucci if he needs a fitting room, and as Pedroza opens the fitting room door, Salucci hits him on the back of the neck with the claw side of this hammer, paralyzing him. To this day, I continue to struggle and Unfortunately, it's something that's going to uh, follow me for the rest of my life. New details surfacing Wednesday in court that Salucci then left the country, and when he came back, he relocated to Georgia, where he started a new life as police searched for him. And while Salucci was starting a new life, his victim was living a nightmare with his mother by his side. Once our resources with the hospital uh, expired, we were forced to leave. No home, no job, so uh, we moved to Texas where we lived in a garage uh, for about a month until we managed to find an affordable house. Using DNA evidence from the hammer, Leesburg detectives pinned Salucci to the attack, which he admitted to and apologized for Wednesday in court. He says he attacked Pedroza, who he had never met, over a rumor he had heard about a girl each of them had previously dated. A Loudoun County judge told Salucci that while he will serve a life sentence, it hardly compares to the life sentence Salucci sentenced Pedroza to. Reporting in Loudoun County, I'm Drew Wilder, News 4.